A survey of 2,257 hiring managers found a staggering 81% believe they have hired the wrong person for a position in the past 12 months. Clearly, interviewers are missing critical warning signs during the process. In 2003, the Cleveland Cavaliers drafted LeBron James with the number one pick in the NBA draft. It proved to be an easy and profitable hiring decision. But James wasn't the only promising star available at the time. Three more players selected would go on to perform at Hall of Fame levels for the next 15 years. Carmelo Anthony was selected with the number three pick, Chris Bosh with number four, and Dwayne Wade with number five. Who did the Detroit Pistons select in front of those elite producers? Darko Milicic. Milicic quickly earned the nickname of Human Victory Cigar because he only played when the game was well in hand. Darko never broke into the starting lineup with Detroit and is considered one of the greatest draft mistakes of all time. In one hire, the Pistons made two mistakes. First, they were saddled with a poor fit at a high price. Second, they missed out on the production that Anthony, Bosch, or Wade could have delivered. Most interviewers think in terms of the obvious when it comes to hiring outcomes. A candidate with all the attributes to be a great fit makes a great impression on the interviewer. This makes for an outstanding hire. A candidate who is all wrong for the company is rejected. This is also a positive outcome for the company. You avoid a mistake. What about a great candidate who doesn't interview well? This is a missed opportunity. There is a difference between being a great candidate and a great interviewer. This mistake is hard to measure. How can you measure how great a rejected candidate could have been for you? Conversely, a terrible candidate could put on a good show in the interview, duping a hiring manager into making an offer. The great actors are typically polished, put on a good show, until they start working for you. The same survey of hiring managers who believe they had made hiring mistakes also asked that group with hindsight where they went wrong. Four mistakes dominated the responses. Worker skills did not match what they claimed. They took a chance on a nice person. They focused overly on technical skills over behaviors. They ignored potential warning signs. Let's look at each of these mistakes and the steps you can take to avoid falling into the same traps.